the speeds are just unbelievable, aren't they? The ladies, they've gotten so much better from last year. Competition continues to get tighter. We've got a lot of good girls out here who have, you know, had really impressive years so far. So it's going to be a really tough field. They are just kind of like our elite women athletes. I'm just going to hit and hope for the best. And it's just a matter of being able to make really good connection and the ball will do the rest. So now it's just time to hit some golf balls. The World Long Drive Tour has made it to Columbia, South Carolina, to Fort Jackson, one of the great Army bases in all of the United States. Six-time World Long Drive champion Jason Zubak. I am the coach, and today we've got the women, the military finals, and when you talk about the women, three of the top six in the world, which means it's the best of the best. Uh, right, coach. We have world number one and current world champion Monica Living. We have multiple world champions, Phil Smitty, world number two. Anytime they're in the field, coach, it's going to be a battle. It really is, and it's really hot. I mean, the ball's going to go far, but on the military side, last night, they were in a torrential downpour just to get to the finals today. Yes, coach, I watched this live. These guys are tough. They battled. We've got the top two going head to head to crown champions. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the tee and hit some bombs. Oh, what a first semifinal we have today with the women. Jason, you got Cassandra Meyer taking on the reigning defending world champion in Monica Living. Absolutely, coach. Uh, this one uh, are going to be uh, calling a lot of epic battles today. But uh, again, you know, Cassandra Meyer, world number six against Monica Living, current world long drive champion. Um, and number one ranked women's long driver in the in the world. So this is going to be a great battle. Um, you know, Cassandra has been knocking on the door all year. Uh, Monica coming off a win um, at uh, the Endless Summer Invitational in Belleville, Canada. Uh, so it, this is going to be a good one. Uh, you know, we look at their yardages that they put together in um, in the uh, in the semifinal or the quarterfinal rounds and. You know, they've been they've been exceptional. Yeah, it's really been hot down here. They've been here for three days competing. When you get to today with the heat of the way it is, and there we see the current world champion, how much does that help or hurt a hitter in the middle of the day? It, it sort of depends on how accustomed you are to that temperature, Coach, and, and the humidity as well. It's been pretty humid here as well. Um, you know, Monica residing in Denver, you know, big elevation and – you know, not that humid. Cassandra, uh, you know, residing currently in Palm Beach Gardens, so she's no stranger to humidity. So uh, it, it just started. depends on how uh, comfortable Cassandra you are with it. Clear, so we will take you through the broadcast and we'll tell you all the different rules there. You see some of the military already on hand. The stands will be packed throughout the afternoon. Six balls and Jason, they have two and a half minutes to hit those six balls. And if they get two or more in the grid at north of three, 300 yards there will be bonus time for these women correct uh you know it's a, a bonus 30 seconds to get off uh some extra shots if if in fact you hit two balls over the required yardage coach uh, again you know watching cassandra you know tour level golf swing and we're being told that the first one was 299 so just a yard short of what would have been uh qualified for a bonus time ball and that one I believe that got over 300. We'll get that number in a second. That was a good one, Coach. Almost 170 miles an hour ball speed. Uh, 308 was second, Coach. Uh, the second ball, 308, 308 yards yardage. Um, as, as we can see, that grid is sloping a little bit right to left. We saw some of the run out there. So the player's got to be conscious of that, that we don't get it to start it too much down the center left or turning left, right? Uh, so we, we want to be very conscious of that. But again, Cassandra, you know, great golf swing, no stranger to hitting a lot of golf balls in play. So she's got one that qualifies for bonus time, that one. And really the ball tracer is, is so important and that one went out of bounds because it's really difficult, Jason, to follow these balls when you're talking 300, 350, or 400 with the men. Right, it's, uh, you know, the color does help coach the, uh, you know, the Bridgestone E9 long drive golf ball that all the competitors are using during the competition. Uh, the, the colors do make a difference to, uh, uh, to make it more visible, but that was a good one right down the middle. We'll, we'll see what comes out back on the artist with that one. Yeah, there you see Cassandra saying, give me some energy. Energy is really what this sport is truly all about. And that one went 303, so she does qualify for bonus time. It is 30 seconds, but 
it will not be immediately after she hits. Monica will go, and then we'll do the bonus time, and the longest yardage wins is the last one win OB, but a pretty good set there for Cassandra Meyer. Yeah, uh, very good. Her long her long ball uh, yesterday in the qualifying was uh, 321 yards. Um, her quarterfinal match, uh, she was 290 uh, versus uh, Savannah Meyer Clement at uh, 285, but, uh, you know, we're uh, this one right down, right down the middle, turning a little bit right to left. Obviously, we see that a little bit left bounce and left roll with that the grid being uh, angled slightly from right to left. And that one goes down the middle too. So two over 300. Remember, every single grid is different. If you're a World Long Drive fan, then you know that it's all about the rolls and the humps and the bumps. But right now, Cassandra Meyer getting us off to a really good start. How will our reigning world champion do? Well, we're just getting started here on the Golf Channel, Monica Living, when we come back. World Long Drive Fort Jackson, brought to you by LifeLock, for identity threats you can't control. Bridgestone Golf and the E9 Long Drive, the official ball of World Long Drive. Extreme ball speed, extreme distance, and Montucky Cold Snacks. We're just your beer, born in Bozeman. We're back for Jackson Golf Club in Fort Jackson, uh, South Carolina. One of our favorite stops historically here on the World Long Drive Tour. The military loves to support the hitters, and we are currently in the women's semifinal. Jason Zubak, six-time World Long Drive champion, is my partner. I am the coach, and now we are all set for the reigning world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, on Monica the team now. Living, and She's going to have to Living. do some work here because Cassandra Monica, Meyer had a really good set. Two balls over 300, so she has bonus time in her back pocket. Right, Coach. The uh, world, world number one. Again, it's, it's, it's quite imperative to start very quickly, meaning getting a ball in play early because that alleviates some pressure. We don't want to leave it later in the set. You know, Monica is a very fast-paced player. Once she gets in, addresses the ball, she lets it go. First ball went out of bounds. That one looks like it's peeling off to the left. How hard is it when you go second, and she wants some energy, but when you go second, knowing you've got to get a certain number, knowing that you uh, want that bonus time to keep calm when you want to have speed? Uh, definitely, Coach. The uh, Here's a good one, 174, uh, down center right. And again, that right side is a little bit banked, but she she had good carry on. Not that one. Looks like about 313 or 312 yards. All right, so that is 315. So that is the longest number so far. So now we know that Cassandra Meyer will have to beat that with her bonus balls, or Monica Ivey is going to win this first semifinal. Right, coach. Mon ball four. Um, you know, Monica. Now she can relax. She can take a little bit of time, but again, she knows that she surpassed Cassandra's distance. Monica, personal best, uh, you know, ball speed of 187 miles an hour and approaching 130 miles an hour club head speed. This one's a little bit high off the face. That's a higher trajectory than her nerve that, that she would uh, normally have. But again, her ball speed was down. Uh, her best ball speed up until this point is about 178 miles an hour, uh, which the shot she achieved at 315 yards. So now Monica has also qualified for the bonus time. So both hitters will have 30 more seconds to get off as many hits as they can. What is an impressive number when you're talking ball speed or club head speed? Uh, you know, it, when, here's a you know another pretty good one. one uh, 172 ball out left though, coach. That one uh, again. It, you know, if we compare it to the LPJ Tour, LPJ Tour uh, average club head speed is about 96 miles an hour. Um, one, I believe, 143 ball speed um, and the girl the the ladies in the women's division they're pushing over 170 miles an hour and the elite are uh, up up uh, in the 180 mile an hour range 
Well, there you can see Monica Lively, the Montucky Colts next snack break. And uh, she showed right there why she is the current world champion. She doesn't have a lot in her swing, Jason, but it's so powerful. It is. She's an elite mover coach. Um, what I mean by that is the way she moves her body when she gets off the ball, she's got a wider stance, but she gets loaded into that trail side, gets pressure and load into that trail side. She gets it going towards the target and she stabilizes that, creates huge rotational power, huge rotational forces. All right, so we both have bonus time here, but Cassandra Meyer, you can see the big exhale. She knows that probably two, maybe three at the most in Zuby, she's got to go north of 315, or Monica Living's not even going to have to hit her bonus balls. Correct. Uh, yeah, she's going to have to surpass that 315. Is she capable? Yes. Uh, can she do it today? We'll see, Coach. <laughs> so, Sonner Meyer will step up now, and we've seen it in past events. There you see all the numbers on the left side. Uh, real, I love our, our production group. So good here at the World Long Drive Tour. Uh, We've seen it in the past that they try to rush too much. They try to get three, maybe four balls into the 30 seconds. That can sometimes be a detriment to what they're trying to do. Coach, you, you have to go at your own pace. A lot of times when they're given these bonus balls, they can hit as many balls as they want in the 30 seconds, but you need to go at your pace because, you know, you practice hitting hundreds and thousands of balls all year. You just have to go at the your pace however many you get off and not to rapid fire because that is not going to produce quality shots okay here we go bonus time for cassandra meyer she's got 30 seconds to hit as many balls as she can and she's got to go north of 315 or monica living will advance to the finals first ball out of bounds So down the left side, Coach, I think that one's going to be out. Pretty good ball speed, 167. Really nice spin, 2000, right about 2000, 2006. And she will get a third one off, but she can tell. You can tell right away if the hitter knows that she's gotten a good one or doesn't. Look at that bounce. My goodness. But Cassandra Meyer unable to get anything in the grid. So Monica Living, being the world champion that she is, makes it through qualifying makes it through the semifinals, and she will advance to the finals. And an impressive performance by her, and she's standing by now with the third member of our broadcast team, Alexis Belt. We're here with Monica Living. You just won with a 315-yard drive, coming off of a win in Endless Summer. What have you done to prepare to go for a two-peat here? Whew, honestly, it's definitely a lot of pressure coming off a big year last year, but you know, all you can do is keep doing what you're doing, try to get better every day, be consistent, keep working, and most of all, be confident in yourself, and that's what I've been doing. Congratulations. We'll see you in the finals. Thank you. She used that really <laughs> smart word, and that is confidence. And when you're out here and you're a reigning world champion, you're winning almost every single time out, that confidence is going to grow and grow and grow as we are about three weeks away from the world championships in Atlanta. When we come back here in Fort Jackson, our other women's semifinal, Phyllis Betty on the grid. Go. We're back. Zuby and the coach. That is what the women are playing for today here in Columbia, South Carolina on the incredible Fort Jackson golf club premises Fort Jackson the US Army base here in South Carolina so we've got one player Monica Living our reigning world champion Zuby she has qualified she will face the winner of this matchup right here Phyllis Medi legend taking on May to Chattapat and to Chattapat ranked number 12 in the world she will hit first all right so here we go again it's six balls in two and a half minutes if a hitter Either May or Phyllis gets two balls in the grid over 300 yards. They will qualify for 30 seconds of bonus time. That one, Zuby, looks like it's heading out of bounds. Yep, yeah, a little bit of pull there, Coach. Uh, my Mai's ball flight is a little flatter. Um, she, she doesn't launch it way up in the air like a lot of the other players do. We'll see a, a, a considerable diff difference between Mai's ball flight and Phyllis. But Mai can bring the speed, that first 100, 176 miles an hour golf ball velocity. 
Bangkok, Thailand is where May is from. So when we say this is the World Long Drive Tour, second one out of bounds, we truly mean this is the World Long Drive Tour. Right, Coach. Uh, uh, you know, my originally Bangkok, Thailand, now residing in Boston, a golf teacher, played college golf at, uh, at Wake Forest. But again, very good golf swing. Uh, you know, LPGA, uh, professional quality golf swing. And you see that a lot out here on the women's side of things. The swings are really elite. You have a lot of players that played collegiately that have gotten into the world long drive. Not so much on the men's side, but certainly on the women's. Definitely, definitely. Um, as we can see, that last one, right, uh, the high 170s ball speed, uh, the one prior 180. So she's got tons of speed, but she needs to find the great coach. <laughs> Now, there first, we go. Yeah, first three out of bounds. That one straight down the middle. Will it get over 300 yards? That is the number that really she's focused on. And indeed, that's north of 310. So we'll get an exact number on that. But the first number of record for May, 313 officially, Zuby. That's a good one. It was a little cut, as we can see. That, that fairway is banked a little bit right to left. She hit it a little bit left to right. So she's fighting that slope a little bit. The, her big balls I saw yesterday, she turned them over slightly. Um, again, she's... A, you know, found another one in the grid there. Again, good carry on that one. Uh, again, she's not getting quite the roll. If she was to create a little bit of that right to left curvature, um, she can get it running down that slope. But again, you... all right, so that one, three, two, zero. So that qualifies her for the bonus time. And that, though, is the longest drive of the day in either semifinal. Yep, a uh, good start, Coach. The um, As we can see, Mai has great speed. Uh, struggled a little bit early to get the ball in play. And, and again, you know, as a competitor throughout my history, you know, you're not going to be perfect all the time, but if you get a good ball in, first one or second one, it, it really relaxes you, uh, lets you kind of freewheel the rest of them. All right, let's take a look at some of the replays brought to you by Montucky Cold Snacks. This is a snack break. Do you prefer a little drive from a long drive hitter or do you prefer a cut? It all depends, coach. If, if you if your cut can you know surpass the linear distance of everybody else, then you still win, right, coach? Uh, it just you, you play your ball flight. In this scenario, we, we have you know very warm temperature, 88 degrees. That fairway is banked right to left. The wind is helping slightly right to left as well. So ideally a little cut would is gonna give you the best advantage uh, but you, you need to be able to hit it in play and you see that extension that she has on her swing that really allows her to have a ton of power coming off the grid so there you see the quiet confidence 320 yards our world champion many times over Phyllis Metty she knows what she needs we are at Fort Jackson oh you can see it's hot it's hot in here We're back for Jackson Golf Club, Columbia, South Carolina. It is a hot, muggy, human day. The crowd uh, still gathering in as we are in our second women's semifinal. My to Chattapat, 320 yards in the first of this one. We've already seen Monica Living, our reigning world champion, defeated Cassandra Meyer. 315 was her longest drive, so she is awaiting either Phyllis Medi, Zuby, or my and when you talk about Phyllis Metty, she is an absolute legend, has been for years. What's made her so good for so long? Her swing hasn't really deviated at all, Coach. When she gets to the top, if she gives it a beat of time, she can really sequence the body from the ground up. Meaning, you know, her, the hips will start initiating the turning, then the shoulders, the arm, and they get every all that energy to the club. Uh, her preferential ball flight coach is a high draw. She loves to see that high draw. If she sees it going right. That's uncharacteristic for her. Six balls, two and a half minutes. Phyllis will need to get two balls over 300 yards to qualify for bonus time, which my has already done. I've always been so impressed 
with the just the swing path and the the ease that she gets it out there and the first two out of bounds for Phyllis Betty. Coach, she has a more deliberate tempo than what we see some other players. What I mean by that is like her backswing, she's not ripping it back. We're gonna see that and we see that, you know, Monica is fairly fast paced backswing and we'll see that in the open division. But, you know, Phyllis gathers everything on the way back. She gets it set and then she can really accelerate from there. And again, we're seeing 180 mile an hour ball speed, 179. That one's moving a little bit too far right to left. You know, at this point, you know, Phyllis three out. It, she's been in this situation a lot of times. She, she likes seeing it go right to left. She just needs to make a slight correction, you know, start that ball either a little more right and a little less curvature. 0 for 3 thus far for Phyllis Meddy. So the pressure's starting to ramp up just a little bit. And every ball so far, Zuby, has started down the middle and then quick hook to the left. Another OB ball. So now she's down to her final two. Bonus time. And but to move on is going to be difficult at this point. Right. She needs to surpass Mai's distance. But with only two balls left, to achieve a bonus ball, she, she can do it for sure. And that one is going to come down in the middle of the grid. We'll see the distance on that. Hopefully for Phyllis, that is north of 300. And she will waste no time getting to her sixth ball. So that is 317, not good enough to win. And unfortunately, Zuby, that one's going to go out of bounds. So no bonus ball, not long enough. So Phyllis Meddy and what he, some would consider an upset. But you said it. Mai came in. And if you didn't know, now you know. Definitely, Coach. Mai is one of the elite women's long drivers in the world. Um, you know, no, there's no question about that. And, you know, she won world long drive in LaSalle and she uh, you know she proved that she's one of the best and let's send it down to the grid now Alexis Belton standing by with our winner my Alexis congratulations my what a big drive we saw you struggle there a little bit what did you do to readjust and make sure that you got two big balls in the grid nothing just keep going long drive you're gonna miss a lot you just have to accept and keep going well congratulations we'll see you in the finals I love that answer nothing I did nothing. You just keep going. You understand. I guess it's kind of like hitting a bad golf shot. You know it's going to happen. R R Coach, you need a short memory, uh, especially in long drive and, and regular golf, because you can't dwell on something that's in the past. And long drive is, if you're thinking about the bad shot you hit, you know, the prior ball, the ball prior to that, you know, it, it's, uh, we need to, you know, be present, hit the shot that you need to do, then move on. Well, we've got to move on to the finals. It's now M squared for the women. Monica Living on one side. You got Maya to Chattapat on the other. But we've got something in between that you'll like. We're back, Fort Jackson. World Long Drive, Fort Jackson. Brought to you by LifeLock. For identity threats you can't control. Newton Golf Shafts. Distance made easy. Official golf shaft of World Long Drive. And Military Connect. Join Military Connect for free at MilitaryConnect.com because at Military Connect, every day is Veterans Day. Well, welcome back to the World Long Drive Tour on the Golf Channel. We are at Fort Jackson in Columbia, South Carolina, Jason Zubak. And Zuby, when you look at what these Army soldiers do day in and day out, it is truly amazing the dedication that they have to our country. Along those lines, we're now set for the military division final. Matthew Powell, 34 years of age, taking on Brendan Ridge, 26 years of age, and they take this very, very seriously. Definitely, Coach. Uh, Matt Powell, uh, based out of Fort Bliss, El Paso, El Paso Texas. Uh, the, the, he's a medic with the 19 uh, Special Forces Group. Um, 
Uh, Matt uh, went to Arizona State, played some professional baseball with the Anaheim Angels organization. And then Brendan Ridge, what do you got on him? Brendan, uh, <laughs> again, he's uh, 26 year, years old, uh, kind of, I think, the for, for his for, for, the first foray into long drive. Um, stationing in Washington State at JBLM uh, Joint Base Lewis McCord, uh, second infantry division. Uh, I watched these guys yesterday, Coach, and uh, they, uh, you know, they battled hard, and it's going to be a, a good final. <laughs> All right, so that is Matt Powell. He will go first. Brendan Ridge will be hitting second. Shout out to my brother-in-law, currently watching the Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Army as well, stationed up uh, near Seattle, uh, Washington. So we go from Powell over to Brendan Ridge. Yeah, we had some celebrities in Huntington Beach earlier this year, and the one thing that uh, was my takeaway from them was pretty good right down the middle, was they just went way too fast because they were so excited just to be on the stage. Definitely, you, you have to bide your time. We're, we're given two minutes and 30 seconds to hit the six golf balls. And uh, the, you know, the ball has to land in play and stay in play. So you got to keep the rules in mind, coach. But again, you know, you got to pace yourself. You know, Matt, Matt can rip it. Uh, there you see falling back. And sometimes you see that with long drivers that when they really try to put an extra emphasis on speed, they tend to fall back and hit it to the left. Now, we did get the official number on the first ball, over 330 yards, 331 to be exact. Yeah, that was just shy of 200, ball, 200 miles an hour ball speed coach with pretty good flight, maybe that little left to right, which isn't the preferred ball flight in this grid. Matt is a little bit shorter swing that we'll see versus other competitors, but he produces a whole bunch of force, coach. He's dumping a lot of energy into that club to create his speed. And th this one we can see 214 miles an hour uh, golf ball velocity, which is a very good number uh, for somebody that's just started at this. And uh, uh, unfortunately that one's OB. You, you mentioned the grid. What would be a perfect shot in your mind to get maximum distance on this particular grid? On this one, Coach, the we want a right to left shot to utilize that slope of the grid. It's harder down the right side, so ideally if we have the golf ball that lands down that right side, we'll see this one just out. Lands down that right side, but turning over right to left for the right-handed player. Um, ideally, in the open division, we want to see the guys probably carrying it, but somewhere in that 360 range, um, and then they could utilize the downslope. So it's going to be more of a mid-lowish trajectory, ideally, and highest ball speed you can with about maybe 10 yards right to left. So out of bounds on every ball but the 331. That one is also going to drift off to the right. So it, it's, and I don't know if they get extra time for hitting a one of the big uh, things out there. I don't know what they call it here in the military, but we put them throughout the uh, the grid. Uh, I'm just teasing, but uh, that would be kind of cool if they are, were able to hit one. Uh, hitting the, on the range, hitting the track on the range. We'll see if Matt can square this last one up, Coach. Uh, again, you know, he's aiming right. He's trying to... That one's a little bit of a pull, so that, that that one's OB. But again, uh, good ball speed on Matt. Again, nervous, not been in this that long. Uh, he loves the sport. And he, he's a Cobra Puma athlete. Uh, he's, he's done tremendously well. He had the longest ball yesterday in all the qualifying at uh, 362 yards. But uh, we're going to see Brendan come up, and he could rip it. All right, let's take a look at some of the replays, courtesy of Montucky Cold Snacks, our snack break. This was the... 331 yard drive. What do you see that you like from his swing? Well, he's a little bit shorter in his hand path or that takeaway coach where he doesn't take his hands as far back as we'll see some of the open division competitors or the women's division competitors. Uh, that situation, that player has to create a lot of force to the grip to create speed. I'll give you an example. Bubba Watson on the PJ Tour or on the Live Tour now, very long swing. Uh, compared to Tony Finau, Tony Finau is short, Bubba's long, same ball speed. But again, if you're sh swing shorter, you got to dump in a lot more force. All right, so Matthew Powell is going to sit there and hope that his 331 is enough to take home the military division. But now the 26-year-old Brendan Ridge steps up to the tee and much less experience. We'll see how he handles the pressure. Good golf swing, coach. That was my first impression while watching him yesterday. Again, a very, 
a very deliberate pace. You know, he's not a super fast tempo, as where Matt rips it back a little bit faster. Brendan is a little bit slower, you know, collects his body and then is able to progress on the downswing and sequence everything up to see if he can get that maximum speed at impact. Six balls in two and a half minutes, and Brendan Ridge, at least his first two balls, very methodical, I think is the word that I would use. And this one straight down Broadway. That one's good for this great coach. As we can see, this one seeing some good run out versus the other ones. Matt's not quite as much run out. We'll see what the end yardage is on this one, just left center finishing. So we are, all right. So Brendan Ridge doesn't realize it, but he just won this thing. He did. 348 on his second ball, but let's let him hit a few more. It's You only get to do this once a year. So, so that one will go OB to the right. What made that 348 go so long for Brendan Ridge? Coach, he had that good ball flight, that low, that low medium ball flight, turning over slightly. Again, utilizing the slope, again, probably maybe not as far carry as Matt's ball, but used the ground, got it to roll out, and ended up. Uh, it's interesting because Brendan, he switched up clubs. He was using his play driver yesterday. He uh, he went to a longer, uh, longer shaft uh, to claim the title. All right, one more look as we take a look at the Montucky Colts next snack break. And this one straight down the middle. This was ball number two, 348 yards, and that was all that he needed to do. One more look from behind. Great swing, coach. As you can see, he sets it up nice. He, you know, gets loaded in that trail side, gets it to the top, and then creates a lot of it, a lot of rotational speed on the way down. Let's take a look from here. Relocates that lead foot off the ground using vertical that push into the ground to really, really help his rotational velocity during the swing. It's all about the W, it's all about taking it down, and there you see now getting the trophy, getting the check. All right, let's send it down to Alexis Belton with our champion of the military division. Alexis. Congratulations, you are the winner of the Fort Jackson Tour Stop. How does it feel coming from a, a golf background, you played at Boston, to win here for a long drive? Um, yeah, it's crazy. Just first time getting into this, definitely switching gears, trying to go from accuracy to just trying to hit bombs down there. So felt good first time out to get some success, and I don't know it's exciting. I just more more than I ever could have expected out of this event. So super excited. How special is it to be the military champion? Um, I think it's really great. I mean, representing the military. Um, I'm a big advocate for guys in the military playing golf. I'm trying to get all my friends to play and to just kind of be the driving force behind growing golf in the military world, I think it's really good, and I guess this will help help uh, get people out to do it with me. Well, congratulations. You're the 2024 Military Open Long Drive Champion. Hey, big time thank you to all the active duty and re retired military personnel. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And Brendan Ridge, well, he couldn't have said it any better. Hopefully this will help get uh, more military members, not only into golf, but into long drive. He is our champion. When we come back, we've got to crown another champion on the women's side. But, oh, how good does that feel? You got the trophy. You got the check. You got the smile. I love it. We're back. Four checks. Welcome back to the World Long Drive Tour on the Golf Channel. And before the event, Zuby, are you kidding me? That's the way you drop in a first ball of the event. That's incredible, Coach, to, to see the uh, the skydivers come in. It's, uh, you know, I was getting I, I was getting a little bit uh, choked up, actually, uh, watching those guys come in. Perfect landing uh, on the grid. I know they've had hundreds and hundreds of drops over the years. It's really cool they did that today. We are on the beautiful campus, or whatever you would like to call it, base here in Fort Jackson. And we are all set for the women's final. Monica Living, our reigning world champion, taking on my the Chattapat. And my being the three seed, Monica being the four seed, my had the choice. She has decided to hit first. Your thoughts on that? Coach, I would never go first. I always wanted to see what the 
what the uh, other competitor would do. It's an interesting thought process, and it uh, it's certainly her prerogative. And so Mai will have six balls, two and a half minutes. So Mai with ball number one, and she had a really good first set for her, and then she was asked, what did you do differently? Nothing. I, I absolutely did nothing differently. She struggled out of the gate a little bit, that first set coach, and then she found her groove. It hit some great shots. The, um, the eventual uh, one that she won with, again, you know, she had two really good balls in that first set. All right, so that first ball, 3-1-4, so that's one. She needs another one to qualify for that bonus time. Right, really good golf swing again, Coach. Really strong lower body really stabilizes during the swing and then on the downswing we can see the violence you know that big hip turn big shoulder turn arm and the, gets to the club and she's got that sort of ideal ball flight she's got that low medium ball flight she likes to turn it over a little bit right to left because that fairway is banked a little bit three zero three for ball number two so she qualifies for the bonus time right now her yard is a record is at 314. 314 is a nice number. Is it her best number? Probably not, Coach. I think she, she's she got a little bit more in her. But again, approaching that 180 mile an hour golf ball velocity, you know, where we want to see that spin, you know, somewhere between that 1800, 2000 range. Again, we want to get some run out with that too. We don't want that spin to be too high. But and a little bit flatter trajectory, which is her natural trajectory. So Monica Living in her first set, 315 was her longest. So Maya is right around that number uh, right now. So ball number four for Maya to Chattapat. That one is curving back into the middle. This will be That's a good interesting one. to see. Again, it didn't run out, Coach. That side is, is banked a little bit. 183 miles an hour golf ball velocity. That's some big speed. All right, 317. So a little bit longer. So she increases uh, her number by three yards. Yeah, and she's building on that one, Coach. We we want to, uh, you know, she's got two balls left. She's feeling it. She's hitting a lot of golf balls in play. I would replicate that exact same shot that she just hit, perhaps a little bit farther left to get a little more of that run out. But that one, she probably carried it 314, and it only went to 317. That's where we saw some of her earlier ones have considerably better run out. So it's, you know, it's kind of the rub of the green, meaning we're playing on a golf hole at a golf course. So we're bound by the conditions. We're not hitting on a turf or sod farm, you know, a perfectly flat grid like Mesquite or some of the others. All right, so taking a little bit extra time here on ball number six. That can be a good thing sometimes. That can be a very whippy thing sometimes. And that one was whippy. So that's going to go out of bounds. But she has three balls over 300 yards. So Zuby, she will qualify for the bonus time. But right now, her number to be 317. 317 is a, a good shot. Monica has similar speed to my. She could. She could. But let's take a look down the grid here. Again, she, this is the uh, the big ball she hit. That one starting a little bit right center. If you got it a little bit farther down that right line, we can get it to release. It's a little harder on that edge, but as we saw, it you know landed close to the line there. So maybe maybe seven yards of roll. But again, 183 miles an hour golf ball velocity, 28 46 spin, which is pretty good. 100. And nine feet of apex. That's how high the golf ball gets. But again, great mechanics, coach. What we saw, those hips lead the charge. The hips go first, the shoulders, the arms, then the hands. Means big velocity at the golf ball if we can get it to the club. Will it be enough to crown her champion here at Fort Jackson today? So there is the ball to beat right smack dab in the middle of this grid, like a beacon of light. <laughs> out there and boy what a shot that's a great look back at the stands and all the crowd that has showed up now monica living our world champion what has she done so well in the last really 12 to 18 months to separate herself from everybody else yeah, coach i you know i've called her an axe murderer not, not in the fact that she's like murders people with axes but <laughs> she uh no but she just uh, she's she gets she's very focused when she steps in it 
there, there's no uh, distractions. When she's locked in, she's deadly coach. Um, she's had, you know, some up and down moments in this tournament, you know, putting her ultimate performance, but I've seen it. When she won the Endless Summer earlier, she hit ball after ball, killed. This one, 175 miles an hour, right down the middle, turning a little bit right to left, 22.45 spin. As we can see, that one run out. That one, we'll get a final yardage on that one, but that, that was a good ball. So that's gonna be in between 310 and 320. So it will be enough for, to qualify as a bonus ball. She'll need one more and 311 was the official number, so she needs to find six more yards somewhere. Right, so this one again, approaching that 180, the spin up there, 2700, a little bit high. You know, Monica, exceptional mover. What I mean by that, we talked about before, Coach, she has a wider stance. She gets loaded. She has to move the body a little more laterally to the back. We're going to watch on this one. Then she recenters it, and then lets it go. Little, a little flatter, what we call arm plane, meaning some of the players get their hands super high over their head. Not quite as much with her, but uh, when she links everything up, Coach, when she sequences it, links it up, she's deadly. All right, OB on ball number three, OB on ball number four. So now ball number five, that is drifting off to the right. She doesn't seem like she's spending a lot of time getting her body where it needs to be before she hits. And now this will be her sixth and final ball. She needs 317 or she needs to go over 300 yards to get bonus time. Correct, Coach. She, she needs to gather herself a little bit. She, you mentioned like she sets in there pretty quick and she just lets it go. That's her natural rhythm. You know, she's won world championships. She's won multiple tour events. And again, ah, this one's gonna probably be out right. Good ball speed on that one. But again, you need to find the great coach. And especially in this bonus ball situation, it's, and, it's imperative. And she was unable to do it. So congratulations to my and getting it done, beating a former world champion and beating a current world champion. It doesn't get any harder than what she just pulled off. Our champion today, she knocked off Phil Smetty in the semifinals and then beats our reigning world champion, Monica Living in our finals. Congratulations to her. One more look at the winning swing here in Fort Jackson. World Long Drive Fort Jackson, brought to you by LifeLock, for identity threats you can't control. Newton Golf Shafts, distance made easy. Official golf shaft of World Long Drive. And Military Connect. Join Military Connect for free at militaryconnect.com. Because at Military Connect, every day is Veterans Day. All right, it's time now for the Bridgestone Golf Drive of the day and Zuby. Of course, it's none other than mine. Couldn't be anyone else, Coach. Again, 183 miles an hour golf ball velocity, 28.48 RPM spin, apex 109, just a beautiful golf swing. Let's sit it down now to Alexis Belton with our champion. Congratulations, Ma. You're the 2024 Fort Jackson winner. Talk us through what this means going into the World Championship. How much confidence does this help you? I'm, I am excited. Um, Confidence, yeah, absolutely. Help, very helpful. I don't play a lot of tournaments, but when I'm out here, I need it. I needed it. Yeah. You are someone that studies the mind, the body, and the swing. What mental thought do you have when coming into events like this? Yeah, I study a lot, and that makes me doubt a lot about myself. But essentially, I think at the very end, I just need to trust that I, I am enough. I have enough. And if it's doubt, it's fine. Just play with it. You for sure had plenty enough as you are the champion for the 2024 Fort Jackson event. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you. And she talked about how much confidence that's going to help her heading into the World Championships in Hotlanta in just a few weeks. And we will be there to find out who's going to be our next World Champion. And the way Mai is hitting it, my goodness, it's going to be very, very difficult to beat her. That's going to do it for us for six-time World Long Drive champion Jason Zubak. I am the coach and our entire World Long Drive crew. We'll see you in Atlanta in just a few weeks. Take care.